In this video, I'm going to show you the voice maker feature. So the voice maker feature has two components to it. This is where you can give a prompt and effectively create any voice that later that you can use as a clone voice to generate uh, any type of content. So the idea here is that you can give description of the type of voice you can create and you want to create and then the AI technology behind the scenes for clone voice will actually generate that voice from scratch. This will give you unlimited potential variations and creativity rather than just being stuck to a rigid or standard set of uh, voices, for example, like our system voices or basically any other text-to-speech uh, things that you've uh, worked with where there's a set a limit of the number of voices and the type of voices that you can create uh, because they're all standard. So there's two components here where number one, you have professional voice maker, and then you second, you have the creative voice maker. What is the difference between both? So as you can see in the descriptions, you can uh, be written down here. So professional voice maker is basically where you can generate human sounding professional voices using text prompts. Now, this is, for example, narration, conversational, promotion. So the idea here would be, let's say, for example, you want uh, a podcast host voice, or you want to have a, a news reporter voice, or you want to have, a, for example, a conversational style uh, voice, for instance, or a promotional, let's say a theatrical trailer type of voice where somebody's speaking uh, with a very husky voice, for example, right? So that kind of uh, thing where it's very human sounding, okay? Uh, so I'll show you an example of this right now, and then uh, we'll go to the next one. So this is the back. And then the next one is creative voice maker. So creative voices are more expressive in nature. These could be even non-human sounding effectively. Okay, so the customization of the tone, accent, age, pitch, pacing uh, can be directed through text prompts. So this could be, say, like an alien voice or fairy, a pirate, or 18th century Shakespearean king voice, um, you know, wizard, a goblin. You get the idea, right? Very creative type of voices. And they sound that way. They sound, uh, the pacing is very slow sometimes, or very fast sometimes. Uh, it might sound very childish. Some might even call it unprofessional in a professional setting. But the point is they're creative in nature, very good for storytelling, very good for creating uh, for specific videos with specific characters, for example, that you can use this uh, for, you get the point, right? Some, uh, let's say, very um, uh, cartoonish storybooks, for example, that sort of thing. Okay, anyway, so now that you have the differentiation, let's go create uh, two examples of this and um, we can uh, basically go from there. So the first thing is we can just use this uh, professional, start professional, I'll show you because it's very straightforward. Like start professional, so you would give it a name. So let's say, for example, I'll say um, uh, an assertive uh, news reporter, let's say, okay, that's the voice name. So all I need to do is I can just paste a prompt, write a prompt, like an assertive, authoritative news reporter's voice, cool, composed, confident, and clear American English accent. So let's say I want to change this to, let's say, for example, um, something else, I can change it. Okay. You get the point, right? So you can make it Australian or British, right? You get the point. So, uh, let's say British. Okay, you get the point. And then you click on uh, generate. So I'll just put British here and just for my reference, click create. So it's going to take a, you know, a few seconds to generate. So here's an example of one I've uh, generated in the past. There we go. So let's just uh, play this. The scientist carefully adjusted the microscope, her steady hands guiding the delicate instrument as she prepared to examine the mysterious sample. So pretty cool, right? Very British uh, accent and uh, very uh, professional, human sounding. Okay, that's the key thing. The idea is that it sounds like a human. It Basically, you're looking for realism here, okay? You're looking for that which sounds like a human being is speaking in a professional setting. Now, in the case of uh, the other uh, direction, which is the voice maker, which is creative voice maker, now we're really creating anything and everything you can imagine effectively. Uh, so you're going to more, let's say, whimsical style. You're trying to uh, create it for storytelling, that sort of thing. So let's try that one. Let's go to create start um, here. So now here, 
uh, the way it works is basically you can generate anything. So let's say, for example, I wanted to do, uh, let's say teenage, uh, female fairy. Okay. All right. So here you can make it short descriptions. They're good enough. Like, uh, an old pirate voice, uh, a uh, vampire voice and stuff and mysterious teenage fairy, for example. Right. And then click on preview creative voices. Okay. So, so what we basically do is we're analyzing your description to generate the best creative voices. So then what we will give you is we'll give you five options that, uh, you can pick from because you know, these are creative voices. Somebody might say this is not mysterious enough, right? Somebody might say this is way too mischievous in terms of speaking uh, and you want to pick and choose. So let's pick, uh, let's play and see which one we like. Soft light warms my whiskers as I pad past the bakery. People hum and sip. I know. So that was the first one. Let's see this one. Soft light warms my whiskers as I pad past the bakery. People hum. The second one. Soft light warms my whiskers as I pad past the bakery. People hum and sip. I knows crumb. The fourth one. Soft light warms my whiskers as I pad past the bakery. People hum and sip. I knows crumb. The fifth one. Soft light warms my whiskers as I pad past the bakery. People hum and sip. There we go. Personally, for me, I like uh, voice option one. So it actually looks like a teen. It sounds like a teenage voice. It sounds like a female fairy would speak, right? So this is the idea, okay? And every time you do it, so it's going to generate a different variation of it that you can play around with. That's why we give you five options uh, to play with, okay? Then you can just select one of these and then you can create a voice. Boom. There we go. So it says, it says completed. So teenage female fairy has been completed. So all you have to do now is uh, these two. You can just uh, click on the heart icon. So you see this right here, these heart icons to keep it uh, handy, right? So that you know you created it. If you like it, if you do not as well, it's okay. What's going to happen is next time and every time going forward, when you go and you click on um, this create audio section, okay? You can then go in and you'll see these under the uh, design voice, which I'll show you. Create audio, okay? And then let's say we want to do the fairy story, okay? Or something, okay? Click on select voice, okay? Again, I'm showing you right now what I'm doing here. Select voice. And then um, you click on that. And then here under, you see this section right here that you see, select category. Uh, and then it's a system there. So basically we're going to drop down here and you see it says designed here. That's what we're clicking. Okay. So there we go. So you see here, uh, we have an, uh, uh, the actual tones here. So you can even search for it. So a fairy, let's say, right. Teenage female fairy. There we go. The one I, I picked and then boom, select it. And there we go. It shows up teenage female fairy. And then um, we can just give it a script and just get started. So let's say, for example, we can then do children's storybooks, right? So a uh, whimsical story of a teenage fairy uh, finding fortune. I don't know, something, right? Something like that. And then it's just going to generate a story. And you can uh, go use ChatGPT or whatever you want to be able to uh, generate uh, the basic uh, storyline and then you can go click create and then again you can preview the first few lines to see if it's up to the uh, you know standards that you're looking for for example like so it's gonna take a few seconds for the preview to load up and then pip was a young fairy wings like shimmering dragonfly there we go right so we saw the preview right now if you're happy with it now you just go click create a story fairy story and it's going to do that and then you can go ahead uh, doing your thing okay and you can go do the same thing again with other stuff so let's say we go back to the voice maker let's say we want to use a creative voice maker again and this time i want to do it on up up uh say let's say for example angry pirate let's say right so you can just say an angry uh pirate an angry old pirate let's say okay and then again it'll generate 
um, basically the best possible creative uh, voices and gives you a selection, as you can see here, like so. And you can pick the one you like. From this one, I personally like uh, option number two. The scent of fresh rain washes over a city at dawn. The world wakes in a hush. A slow way better right it actually looks angry and it matches my uh what i'm looking for then i can just click on the create voice and again same process every time you go to create audio and then you go to select voice go to system uh designed there we go we have our angry pirate voice okay this is the reason why i suggest uh to make it small and tiny than names uh because then you can easily search for them later on as well you see i have an assertive it just got um you know a news reported too as well so just want to make sure that it's you know a little bit easy for you to remember and short and sweet because we may have hundreds of voices down the line here right uh, down the line so again you choose angry pirate whatever story you want to put uh, you want to generate it, you do it, or you want to type it in. Uh, let's say an angry pirate on his way to find treasure in the ocean, let's say, okay. And then you can say a children's story books or whatever. And then uh, you can generate the script. Again, same process as you are uh, very familiar with uh, so far, right? Very, very straightforward, very easy to use so far, as you can see. And it allows you to create any type of variations and uh, you can play around with it, as you can see. And then again, here we go, click create audio and then you can add emotions to it or whatever if you want to, but it, since it's an already an angry uh, pirate, so we wanna make sure that we keep it, let's say, okay. And then you can generate uh, the video, right? That's pretty much it in terms of uh, the voice maker feature. I know it sounds simple, but it allows you to create so many different variations, both on the professional voiceover maker side and the creative voice maker side. So go ahead and uh, use it to your heart's desire and create any type of voice you wish. That's pretty much it in terms of uh, the voice maker feature. I know it sounds simple, but it allows you to create so many different variations, both on the professional voiceover maker side and the creative voice maker side. So go ahead and uh, use it to your heart's desire and create any type of voice you wish.